Food Review Club, how are you doing? As you can tell in the north here, and I suppose wherever you're watching, it is absolutely freezing. But this is another Nova Review brought to you by me, Joe. Uh, we're in, well, we're gonna head to Preston. But on the way to Preston, we knew about this pie shop called Bowen's. Bowen's Pie Shop. Apparently it's world class, and you need to try the pies in there. So we went in, we pulled over, and by the way, Chris, Cameron Chris has got a tricky situation today. Look at all the black ice around him. If he falls over, I apologize. If he's ah, like gone, he's done. Um, we pulled over, we're gonna try some Bowen pies. Uh, interested in that, it smells unbelievable. But I was like, um, I ordered my pies, which, well, let me show you this. I've got the pies here. They've not marked any of them, so I don't know what's what. I ordered about four different ones. And before you ask, who ate all the pies? Put it in the comments, yeah? Put it in the comments. Um, I was like, oh, I was filming the pies. And she was like, oh, you can't film the pies in here. You need permission. It's all right. So I just put my phone down. So here's a three second clip I managed to get of said pies. They look dead suspicious of me. Like I was gonna rob the pie shop. I do look like a guy who would rob a pie shop. But uh, yeah, bit odd, bit odd. Right, so. Let's try this one. We're going in rogue here. All I've known is I've got two pork pies and I've also got a meat and potatoes. Hello, you you're right. Us? Oh, sorry. Are you reviewing us? I'm reviewing you. I messaged you on Instagram, said I want to try your world famous pies. Oh, well, Paul, he's not been on this week. He's, um... You got back to me, you sent me a list of pies I should try. Right, and I ordered right. them all. What's your name? What's your name? Tracy. Tracy, Tracy yeah. what's your favourite? Uh, ooh. At the minute, minty lamb. Oh, the mint. I might have to go back in for the minty lamb. I might come back in for the minty lamb. Right, so Bowen's, world famous pies. I, I think this is just the classic pork. Wrong. Oh. That is a pork pie, Chris. Honestly. I took too big of a bite to actually review it. But. The flavours inside there are unbelievable. The pastry, nice and buttery. Good chunk to it. Don't get run over, Chris. As you can see, look how filling that pork is there. Bit of me, that. Bit to me. Bowens, you are ruling my world at the minute. Oh, it's all kicking off. Now, we are playing pie roulette here at Food Review Club. Chris, I have no idea what this one is. That one was the pork one. This is pie roulette. Mm. This one is pork pie and black pudding. Right? Take a look at that. So it's your pork pie mixture. Mix some lovely, maybe berries black pudding because we're not too far away from here. That again. Same vibe as the pork pie I just had there. Nice and salty mixture inside. Lots of it, lots of the filling. So much going on there. The pastry is unbelievable. I wonder what they call him? The snowman. You see the snowman? Right. Two pork pies. One was normal, one was one with um, black pudding in, both winners. I'm gonna go the pork pie a little bit better for me, just because it was a bit saltier, I loved it. These ones again. One of them is a chicken balti, Chris. One of them is, what did I say? M meat and potato. Roulette, pie roulette. What's the best pie filling? Where's the best pie shop? Get into the comments. Chicken balti, maybe this might be, or I think it might be your classic meat and potato. All cooked in the back there. You see constantly people going in, getting their lunches around Chorley. Yeah. That is a good meat and potato pie. Flavouring's on point. Potatoes, got a little bit of bite to them, but still soft as soon as you crunch into them. The nice meat, which it's just called meat, isn't it, Chris? It's just a generic meat. Oh, and the gravy sauce all together is a bit of meat. 
but we have to finish on this bad boy. This this is going to be the chicken balti pie. Golden pastry on the outside. Do you know when you get that golden pastry on the top? Oh, Chris is the... <laughs> That's staying in. That has got to stay in. What does say you, Chris? Soggy bottom. Just a little bit of a soggy bottom. Beautiful crispy edges. This pie is going to be sensational. It's a chicken about you one. Oh. Team. Look at that. Look how beautiful the filling is there. All right, it's something else. The chicken balti is beautiful. The, the chicken is nice and tender inside there, quite peppery in places. But that work that it's doing with the pastry, look at that filling as well. For a lunchtime, I think that's about three quid that pie. Wow. Oh, I'm going to take a little pause because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Tracy's recommendation. She recommended the minty land, didn't she, Chris? Yeah. So, in the magic of editing, I'll be two minutes. Right. So I've got Tracy's recommendation. She said go for the minty lamb. So I've done it. This is apparently one of the best pies they do. Bowens, absolute legends. Let me try and get this out here. Oh. It's, these pies are so weighty. Oh, it's got a little rip there. Let's go, let's go that side. Oh God, it's already been broken for me. Wow. Wow. Mm. Look at that, look how much is coming out there. So, I can understand why Tracy's a big fan. The mint, you watch yourself there, Chris. The mint is nice and punchy in the sauce. The lamb is dead tender, but it's got chunky bits in there. So many chunky bits in there, Chris. That it's beautiful. You brought back to that sort of traditional maybe Sunday dinner when you ever had a lamb dinner is when you were young or you have lamb dinners now. That flavour combination of the lamb with a little bit of the gravy inside it and then the mint that holds it together. Tracy knows what, she, knows what she's talking about. Right, I'm going to try and rank these. Now obviously, we saw such a wonderful place and we knew so much about it. Family run, amazing establishment here in Chorley. It's got such a big name for itself. Obviously we've been here, so many people are popping in to get their lunches. They've got so many pies on offer. They'll all go today. And everyone's got their own favorites. I'm gonna try and rank them. The pork black pudding one, that was nice. I'll give that a seven. The chicken bolt is next. I enjoyed it. The, the chicken bolt nice, thick, <coughs> a little bit peppery for me, but it's still a beautiful pie. Then I'm gonna go, oh, is it lamb or pork? The, uh, the meat potato then is, is nice third place. I'm gonna give that a nice eight. I'm gonna go the last one in at second place with a nice 8.2, but the original pork pie. That was just the pork pie you know, but hot and beautiful in the, min in the middle of it. Nice and salty and the flakiness of the pastry was punching me in the stomach going, yes, please. That gets my top spot. That is number one for me. Bowen's traditional pork, uh, traditional pie shop in Chorley and other places around the Northwest. Thank you for your hospitality today. Cheers, Tracy, for the recommendations. In the comments section, please, what is the best pie filling? Let's get the debate rolling. Let's get the debate I had and let me know what you think. And where does the best pies that you know? Because we need to do more pies, don't we, Chris? We should always do more pies. Food Review Club, we'll see you later.